What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. Now that the patch 5.6 notes are out, I'm here to give you my rundown and analysis of all of the major changes that take place. And just like in 5.5, the patch is filled with loads of buffs and is looking to be an awesome patch. So let's get started. Starting off with the champion changes, we have a minor buff to Aatrox. His ultimate now gives him 20% of his blood well for each target hit. Although this is somewhat of a minor change, I really wanted to touch over it because Aatrox was already in somewhat of a decent spot. And so I think this is definitely enough for him to start being seen in competitive play, since it gives him a lot more attack speed up front in teamfights, and so it helps his DPS quite a bit. And so, because of this change, we'll likely see him some more in competitive play now. Next off we have the changes to Bard. The damage on his Q is increased and the cooldown of his E has been lowered, as well as they made clicking on his E more fluid and now it gives assists, as well as letting clones go through it. Overall, it's a nice buff, but I don't think it's enough to put him in a good spot. I still think his kit overall is fairly weak and he has quite a bit of problems, especially when he's behind. I'd like to see some buffs to make his ultimate easier to hit and to make chimes easier to gather, but overall I think he's still a little bit too weak for solo queue. However, for competitive play we will have to wait and see. I know the pros are trying him out a decent amount. Next up we have a pretty decent buff to Evelyn. She now stealths faster once she hits level 6, scaling at a level 11 and 16 as well, and although her passive on her W was removed, spell hits now lower the cooldown of her W by 1 second, which is really significant and gives her a lot more mobility and stick potential overall. The faster stealthing really helps her out a ton in doing what Evelyn does best, which is making sneaky map movements, and the W buff is actually pretty good too since the passive isn't that much movement speed, but the active movement speed on W is really really big and is really impactful, so overall this buff helps Evelyn a reasonable amount, but I'm not sure if it solves the problem that she has in the Season 5 jungle, of just taking too much damage and having a really poor first clear. I'd love to see buffs to her base damages or base tankiness, but with this change specifically she'll likely not have that much success in solo queue, but it does help her quite a bit for competitive play and we might see players pick up Evelyn, especially since you can 2v1 and then have your jungler do the first clear with help from your top laner. Katarina has had her base health reduced by 50 and her health per level increased by 3 and her base health regeneration lowered. Overall, this is actually a pretty huge nerf to Katarina's early game since it makes her a lot more vulnerable to early poke and with her high base tankiness in lane early on patch 5.5, although her early game is poor it was quite difficult to punish before so this change gives her a major weakness that players will be able to punish in her kit and so I think it's a really awesome move and will tone her down quite a bit while still keeping her strong. This change should actually put her in what is a great spot, however she will still likely not be played at the competitive level due to the inherent weaknesses in her kit. Nocturne also received a pretty decent buff in a lowered cooldown on his ultimate. The cooldown is still quite long, but overall I think Nocturne is a pretty solid champion and minor tweaks like this are really all he needs to be played at the competitive level and in solo queue more often, so I think this change is probably enough for him to see some play. Quinn also received some major quality of life changes to her E. It now resets her basic auto attack and has a much easier time going through walls, as well as having some pretty significant bugs on it fixed. Now, this is actually a really significant buff and it's what Quinn has needed for a really long time. You can definitely expect to see her played in solo queue, however I really want people to stop playing her bot lane. She's really just not an AD carry, she fits the role of a top laner much much better. And for competitive play she kind of has a hard time fitting team compositions and so it's possible that she won't be played over the more heavily favored AP top laners when teams need a top laner that does damage. Ryze also got a minor buff on his Q in the form of increased base damages. Although it's a minor buff, he's kind of like Aatrox in that this is all he really needs to be played at the competitive level. So with this change, I think we can reasonably expect Ryze to be played a lot more after this patch. Also, Sejuani received some nerfs in the form of reduced damage on her W and a massively reduced slow amount on her ultimate. She's honestly ridiculously overpowered on patch 5.5, so in patch 5.6 I really really expect her to still be top tier and maybe even still be the best jungler. The W nerf is not that significant at all, but the slow nerf is actually quite big, but it just means that she gets punished a tiny bit more for not hitting the full stun on her ultimate. However, her ultimate is honestly fairly easy to hit, so she will, without a doubt, still be really strong. Scion has also received some nerfs in the form of damage on his E and damage on his Q to monsters. This hurts his poke and his wave clear by a small amount, especially in lane, but he'll still be quite strong, just tone down a tiny bit and do a little bit less damage, and so he'll have a reasonably less kill pressure in lane. 
Vagar receives some buffs in the increase of mana regen on his passive, increased range on his Q, and a quality of life change on his stun, to where champions that dash through it now get stunned at the wall rather than at the end of their dash, so it's a pretty nice buff to his stun. Overall, these are some nice changes, but I think the problems he has from the original stun nerf are still way too big, so I'd like to see the delay on his stun lower to half a second, or maybe even just a quarter of a second, rather than 0.75 seconds. And so it's likely that he will continue to not really be played at all, and still have a pretty low win rate. And lastly, for the champion changes, Zillion also received a massive buff in increased health per level, increased AP ratio, and lowered mana cost on his Q, lowered cooldown and lowered mana cost on his W, and a lowered mana cost on his E. Overall, these buffs are really, really nice, as the mana cost and lowered cooldowns give him a lot more utility. His damage is still kind of weak to be played in the mid lane, I feel, but it's possible that we will see Zillion support start to rise up as a pick now, as I think it's a lot more viable after these changes, and with the stun on his kit, he does have more utility than it did before. As for the item changes, Chalice of Harmony now costs 100 gold less, but the cost of Athenes and Mikhails are unchanged, while Athenes now gives more mana regen and gives back more mana on a killer assist. Overall, this is a decent buff and puts Athenes in line with Morello's, as the less AP but more mana regen and magic resistance option, so it's definitely an option to consider now once again when looking for a mana regen, cooldown reduction AP item. The Scuttle Crab has also had its vision radius reduced to be what the actual circle that the indicator shows. This actually makes taking the crab a lot less significant, since before it was essentially comparable to a full on ward, but now it's really more about the objective of doing dragon or baron. And lastly, the jungle also gives more XP once you hit level 5 and scaling up, so this should help junglers keep up a bit in experience and is a buff to junglers late game. Junglers tend to be under leveled by quite a bit late game, so this change definitely helps a lot with that. Anyways, that just about wraps it up. Any change that I didn't talk about in this video was considered to be minor and insignificant. My name is Jeremy, and that's it for my video on patch 5.6. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and if you're interested, definitely check me out over on all the socials, of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, and definitely check out some of my other videos as well, up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.